Ken Rudolph joins us live in Loomis with the grand opening of their second location. Hi there. Ladies, it gives me such great pleasure and it's an honor to be able to bring this story to you today because it comes from a beautiful, beautiful place. A year ago, July of 2015, they broke ground on this particular place and it's all about providing a, a safe place for young women to really turn their lives around and it's all because of some great people including an outstanding family and they're right over here. We're talking about our friends the Bolitnikovs, the Hall of Famer Fred Bolitnikov and his wonderful wife Angela. Good morning, how are you? Good morning, how are you? I'm so excited to be here. Congratulations. This house looks amazing. This is Tracy's place of hope and you've put in such great work. How did it all come together? I mean obviously it's super stressful but how did it come together? Smoke and mirrors. <laughs> is that right? <laughs> no, a lot of people doing a lot of hard work. Um, many different facets all came together. It really did come together and it's quite a miracle that we're here today. And Fred, it's a it starts with pain and tragedy, but it's a beautiful legacy. It is a wonderful legacy, and, but if you can share with people, how did this even start for you in your heart? Oh, geez. It started what, in, after a couple of years after Tracy's death, we had a home in San Mateo, which uh, under different circumstances, politics and everything, we had a turnover to an adult program instead of an adolescent program. Then Angela, being the hound dog she is, hunted down mm -hmm. and... Uh, ended up uh, talking to Bill and Camilla Ryland here at Conania and told her her vision and they were all in for it and so that's how we were able to uh, to uh, have this house named Tracy's Place of Hope and then after Angela had been here a couple of times she said we have to redo everything here yeah. and so she got loader construction and talked to them and see what they thought and how soon they could get the place done and that's the reason this beautiful place got done we just they just ripped down everything yeah, and it looks amazing y'all you all did a fantastic job and I want to find three of the individuals that are going to be living here I need Rosie and Allie and uh, Anna and they are actually going to be living here some of them have been here before so they were here before the home was renovated good morning Anna how are you good how are you I'm fantastic good morning Rosie how are you good how are you hello Allie how are you good all right now show me your rooms to take me down the hallway into every place that you live Dave you follow them I'm gonna follow you and this is the beautiful thing about this place it, it provides a wonderful secure safe friendly environment for all of the young ladies to come here ages 13 through 18. They'll stay here from anywhere from 10 to 12 months and they'll be able to really find a nice comfort spot and, 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 and how has it been helping you, Anna, because you've been here for a while, how is it helping you kind of turn things around? Being able to turn things around with not only uh, with myself but with my family as well. Kind of being aware of my character defects and what I have to work on for myself and then how to deal with other people's problems and their problems and my family's problems and trying to um, be able to be co to cope with that and be comfortable with them and myself. That was beautiful. Mm -hmm. It isn't. You didn't rehearse that or anything. You're yeah. wonderful. <laughs> These ladies are outstanding, and it's a fantastic place. And it's one of those situations where unbelievable tragedy is turned into great inspiration and a wonderful legacy. And these ladies are proof of that right yes. here. It's Tracy's so place fantastic. of hope. It's in Loomis. It's just a great, great story. And mm -hmm. we appreciate Fred and Angela letting us come yeah. here. The grand opening doesn't take place until noon today. Well, we got this preview for you in the 9 o'clock hour on Good Day. Back to you. And we appreciate those ladies for sharing their story with us. Very, very inspiring. Yeah. It's just lovely. Thanks, Ken. Well, as you all know, we 